The National Forest Roadless Rule is a regulation established in 2001 which does not allow new roads to be built in areas where there are no existing roads. The Roadless Rule protects nearly 60 million acres of pristine ancient forest from threats of new road construction and logging. Roadless forests provide much of our clean and safe drinking water, protect fish and wildlife, sequester large amounts of carbon to fight climate change, and provide amazing recreation experiences. Right now, the U.S. Forest Service has released a draft decision from the Trump administration that would eliminate road those area protections for more than 9 million acres of Alaska's Tongass National Forest. This proposal would open up more than half of the world's largest temperate rainforest to clear-cut logging and development. If they are successful in America's largest national forest, there is little doubt that we will be next here in Washington. We need to help protect the Alaskan Tongass National Forest by putting pressure on the Forest Service to stop the repeal. Make your voice heard by taking action at the link below. Washington Wild has coordinated a national effort here in Washington State to oppose the rollback of roadless area protections in the Tongass National Forest. By generating media attention, coordinating a public meeting in Seattle, and creating a joint comment letter signed by more than 150 partners, including conservation, recreation, wildlife and sportsmen groups, along with faith leaders, local businesses, and elected officials from Washington State. The Roadless Rule is the largest federal rulemaking in federal history, including more than 600 public hearings nationwide and 28 here in Washington state alone. The rule attracted 1.6 million individual comments, the vast majority of which supported roadless protections. There are nearly 60 million acres of roadless forests spread across 38 states. More than 60 million Americans rely on clean and safe drinking water from national forest roadless areas. These ancient forests provide vital habitat for more than 1,600 threatened and endangered species and are an important defense against a changing climate, as they sequester carbon in the atmosphere. Since the roadless rule is administrative and not a law or legislative, this means that if the president in the White House doesn't value old growth forest and clean water, the roadless rule can be undone. This has happened twice under the Bush administration, where two attempts were made to weaken roadless protection. Efforts by groups like Washington Wild to defend the rule and ultimately a successful legal challenge upheld roadless protections. Right now, we are in one of those times again, where the Trump administration recently released a plan that will roll back protections in Alaska Tongass National Forest against wide-scale logging. The U.S. Forest Service indicated its preference is for the most extreme option, which is a full elimination of roadless area protections. The Tongass is not only the last remaining intact temperate rainforest on the planet, but it's also America's climate forest. That's because this temperate rainforest plays a critical role in fighting climate change by absorbing carbon in its old growth trees. And if we cut down these trees, this will just release carbon back into the air. Also, the Tongass is essential to the livelihood of Alaska Native communities who rely on hunting, fishing, and wild harvest as a matter of survival. And why would we put new roads in the few areas where we don't have them when we can't pay for the roads that we already have? Currently, there are 370,000 miles of national forest roads, which is eight times the size of the federal highway system. And there's an $8 billion backlog for proper maintenance of the roads. Unmaintained roads deteriorate and cause erosion and sedimentation, affecting water quality and impacting habitat for salmon. So you might be asking, why do I care about what's happening in Alaska when I live in Washington? While Alaska is the current target, there is little doubt that other western states, including Washington, will be next. Here in Washington state, we have nearly 2 million acres of roadless areas. Washington and Alaska are also closely connected. In fact, the Tongass National Forest is the same distance from Washington state as Boise, Idaho. Washington offers nonstop daily flights to Alaska and 80 cruise ships leave Seattle ports each summer to tour Alaska's Inside Passage, which is in the Tongass National Forest. Also, much of the commercial fishing that rely on salmon in the waters of the Tongass National Forest have their home port in Washington State. Without the forest, there are no salmon. Take action now and oppose the repeal by going to the Washington Wild website, clicking on Take Action, and scroll down to Action Alerts, and click Take Action, Oppose the Repeal of 9 Million Acres of Ancient Forest Protections in Alaska's Tongass National Forest. Fill out a form to deliver a letter to the United States Forest Service to deny the elimination of 9 million acres of ancient forest. Together, we can help save the Alaskan Tongass National Forest.